Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Speak English Like a Native. Today we're talking about a secret tip that can help you achieve the British accent. If you really want people to think suddenly, wow, this guy speaks quite like British, then please don't skip this video. After watching it to the end, you will definitely know how to speak English like a native. So let's start here. This top secret is about that typical voice feature that gives the very first impression that either it's sounding like a native or not. To explain it more for you, maybe there are friends who can pronounce all the words as correctly as any native person. And to explain it more for you, maybe there are friends who can pronounce all the words as correctly as any native person. Like uh, they've been following all the rules of the accents like the T's and R's and the consonants and vowels and schwa, but still their voices don't sound like native. Yes, now you got my point? Yes, now you got my point? Yes, wonderful. So this top secret is about that typical charming voice-like feature that typical voice, native-like voice which will force the people to ask you this question. Are you British? So let's take a look how we can find out that beautiful British accent with a wonderful British-like voice. And actually all the people around the globe speaking their native languages tend to have a sort of default mouth position which involves a sudden placement of tongue and jaw. This sudden placement of tongue and jaw gives the native person's voices that typical tone, that typical charm, that typical voice that is natively attributed to that language and that accent originally. And if a non-native person wants his voice sounding like a native, he must have to match his tongue and jaw placement to, to that default tongue and jaw placement of a native person. Without doing this chain of tongue and jaw, tongue and jaw placement, non-native persons can never be sounding like a native person's voice, uh, no matter how perfect their pronunciation is. So that's very important. But now the question is, what is that default placement of tongue and jaw for the British accent? And the answer is very, very simple. British accent involves the sudden placement of tongue and jaw, which involves releasing tension in a jaw and allowing it to hang loosely. Secondly, Release your tongue as well so that it sits on the bottom of the mouth, just behind the bo bottom teeth backside. That's it. I repeat once again, British accent involves releasing tension in the jaw and allowing it to hang loosely. And uh, secondly, lower your tongue as well so that it sits on the bottom of the mouth, just behind the bottom teeth backside. That's it. That's it. That's very easy. That's very simple. But a real challenge you will have to face during the speech when you will have to sustain that placement of tongue and jaw for a long time. And it will be very awkward and maybe it will be very difficult at the beginning. But, uh, but never quitting and keep on practicing is, is the real key to success with action training. I'll be updating more videos on this topic if you want, just tell me in the comment so that I can tell you how you can sustain the placement of Tang and Joe for further assistance on the British accent training and otherwise I'll be updating more videos regarding the different aspects, different features of the British accents which will be very helpful for you to learn the British accent just like the natives. Thank you so much for watching this video.